Hello Cobras and welcome back to the Cobras Nest for those who are here and you. My name is Mignon Cobra and I make minimalism videos. So today's minimalism video is going to be Minimalist Unboxes, her dream coach purse. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. Let's get it, let's go. Ah, here she is. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to do this with you guys. I haven't done an unboxing like this, I think, ever on my channel. So I am like super excited. I think the last unboxing I did was for my MacBook and I think I did a terrible job. I just always feel so ashamed to unbox anything on my channel just because I'm a minimalism channel. But I'm on a break currently so I think I'm allowed to have this moment. So as you guys know, I am a really big coach fan and you guys have seen on my channel my humble bag collection. I think the majority of my bags were coach. I actually have them with me. I have all three of them because I will be doing some comparisons and I wanted to have them beside me so I could show you guys. So the bags that I have that I'll be comparing it to is this one i actually don't know what the specific make of this one is this was actually a gift it's just called the baguette because i think that's what these these shapes are called the baguette this one i do have you guys have definitely seen this one in my what's in my minimalism bag this one is the camera bag in the embossed leather and the last one that i have is i have the tote which you guys have seen i use this one primarily when i travel so not much is going on there and this one is in the canvas with the monogram let's get to the unboxing because I know that's what you guys are here for. Oh my gosh, okay. Ah, oh my gosh. You guys knew, well, if you saw the thumbnail, you guys knew I had to get a beige one. Oh my gosh. So this one is the mini Lily Carry All, if I remember correctly. I've been doing research on this baby since last year, so this is definitely not an impulse purchase. I've been thinking about getting this one since I think around Black Friday when I first saw it. At the time, they only had the classic canvas monogram which don't get me wrong i think is gorgeous it's beautiful as you guys saw it with my travel tote i do really like that print but recently i've just been like in a beige kick and i really wanted the beige so i actually held off and i'm so glad that i did this was just like pure coincidence like my mom and i we went to the coach store and we just happened to see that they had a beige one it's a beige colorway and the official name is the official colorway is called hope i think that's yes hope and this is how much it retails for this is actually a birthday gift for my mom so my birthday is in two months and my mom just came back from vacation so she left in march so i haven't seen her in like i think four months so it's just like we're having like a good time together and she was all like oh my gosh like your birthday's coming up you really like this bag let me get it for you for an early birthday present if you guys don't know my family we have this tradition we're very practical we just get each other what we want when we see something and we're just like early birthday gift i didn't even know this was a thing i always do it to will <laughs> like in the summer we're like do you want it for your birthday <laughs> When my mom was doing it to me, I realized, I'm like, oh, I got it from my mom. My mom does this to me. Okay, it's two months early, but that is fine with me. Oh my gosh, I love it. As a minimalist, you guys know that it doesn't really matter. Get it now, get it later. Like, I'm going to be using it for years. So anyway, yes, coming back to the price. So it was retailing for $398. It's from the outlet, so they usually don't retail for that price. But when I was looking at it last year, it wasn't too much of a discount. It was like $200 something, almost $300 still. So I was kind of like, oh, a little hezzy. But then we saw that it was on sale and it got like mismarked. It said that it was $199 on sale. We went to go check out. It was actually 70% off. So we ended up getting this for $112. That's really good because so you guys can see this thing is really big. When I was talking about the camera bag, the camera bag is very, very small. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. On camera, it kind of looks like maybe not that bad, but this is really puny. My main complaint about the camera bag was that for me, I have like a Max phone. So it barely fits with my wallet. Like I have to really struggle to close my camera bag, which was just driving me absolutely insane. The reason that I wanted this one was because this one doesn't have that issue. This one has actually three compartments, which is wonderful. And I already tested it. My camera and my wallet both fit in there. Another reason why I wanted this one over this one instead was um, this one has detachable straps. This one didn't does not have detachable straps, which is one of the annoying things. I know a lot of minimalists that I, I watch, they do praise their bags for not having detachable straps. I know it's really popular in the minimalism community, but for me personally, I I actually really love changing the straps. I have some other straps. I like being able to change it. So that was one of the reasons why I like the baguette. The baguette actually can have detachable straps. So yeah, it has a detachable strap, which is actually really nice because this ox blood is the same interior colorway for the lily. So I'm actually pretty excited that I could change the two straps for this. Like, I like that. I don't have any bags. I literally just have like the four. Really nice to be able to like interchange. So super excited for that. But anyway, yes. Yeah, so let me get to talking about the bag. The bag, she's got three compartments, which is a wonderful. They're very tight, which is nice because although I do want a bigger bag, I didn't want it to be too big. So it has this. It has a zipper compartment, and that's where I'll be keeping my wallet. It'll keep things safe. Then it has these magnetic clasps. 
in the front and then in the interior you can put things inside there's one in the front and there is one in the back and what's really nice about the lily series is it has the it's hard to see on camera but you can kind of see there the authentication card the camera bags don't have that which is really annoying because for me i really like the authentication cards my baguette also has the authentication card in the back i don't know why the camera bags i guess maybe they just don't think it's it's an important bag so they don't care as they didn't put it which i think is so lame because i'm still paying for you know a, a luxury bag i'm not just copying some plastic bag <laughs> from marshall's so like hello please could we respect the customer and put an authentication card and i'm going to show you guys the strap i unbox a little bit of it already but i still left some pieces because like when i watch these unboxing videos i like watching people kind of like take the stuff off so i left it on for you guys ah, there we go go oh my gosh it's so beautiful it is a nice thickness too which i love the lily was the one that i really wanted everything about it is perfect there's so many things <laughs> guys i got this because this was so much cheaper i got this for the black friday sale if i remember correctly and it was 139 so obviously you know at the time i was a bit more stingy so i was like okay let's just go with the camera bag but i'm just so glad that i have this one instead because this one is more ideal i do like a bigger space like i know that like as a minimalist a lot of minimalists like the smaller bag and and I'm glad that I tried, but it just, it's not for me. I tend to have bigger items. I have a bigger wallet and I have a bigger phone. So I just want something bigger. The really beautiful thing about it too is the little dog tag. The clasp where it's in, it's actually on the inside. So it's really subtle. It kind of helps protect it and keep it on the inside. That's what she looks like. She has adjustable straps. I'm short, so I already put it to the largest notch. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. Oh. One of the nice things about this that I really like is that actually, if you guys did not know this about the Lily, the straps actually can go inside of themselves. So if you don't feel like having the straps showing, you can actually put the straps away. So let me put that away. Ugh. So if you just want like a more like clean look, that's what it looks like. And then if you just want to carry the bag without the strap, you can take off the straps and then you can just use it on the crook of your arm. I'll show you guys that. I mean, it is a little bit annoying and I'm always worried I'm going to ruin it. <laughs> You could just like carry it on the crook of your arm with the two of them. So yeah, what is the material made out of? So I did ask the sales associate for some information on the bag because I was a little bit confused. I'm used to usually getting this type of print, but actually they told me that this type of material, this is actually considered canvas. It's except for the trim, which is leather, the bag is actually canvas which is not leather which i didn't know that so now i know that so for some reason this felt a bit plasticky to me so i thought maybe the tab was leather and this is plastic or canvas so i asked and he said actually that this one is this entire material is leather it's treated leather they put like a sealant on it so that it's water resistant and scratch proof which is really nice so i was like oh okay all right and it's nice it's actually not too heavy which was one of my concerns i don't like bags that are too heavy that's actually one of the pluses of the camera bag the bag camera bag is extremely light it doesn't hurt your shoulders so if you actually don't carry a lot camera bag is probably a better choice than some of these bigger babies but i don't know i work out and i'm pretty fit so these heavier bags don't really bother me that much the interior colorway is ox blood which is a very popular coach choice i've noticed this is not the only bag that i have that has that ox blood colorway so my baguette also has the ox blood colorway i know that that's like a really weird choice i actually like it i think it's very spicy it's kind of like on the outside it's like understated but like the inside is like a spicy secrets i don't know I, I actually really like that and it's a color that is actually harder to dirty i have found because i actually had a lot of my fake bags the inside was also red and they would maintain their cleanliness a lot longer than some of the like other colorways black actually shows dirt more than the red so i am extremely happy about that yeah let me just take out some of the things i know that you like at least for me when i watch these unboxings i like watching people take out the stuff so i intentionally left it on the inside for you guys as well the little price tag i have a weird habit i actually like to keep them inside of the bag i know that's weird until i get bored of it so okay so i'm gonna put in the wallet so as i've mentioned during summertime i use my canvas bags a lot so currently i am using my black canvas bag this is my minimalistic canvas bag and as you guys can see she is fully loaded with stuff which is why the camera bag was just not cutting it i needed something bigger so i'll show you guys what is in there my ray bands the club masters my wallet so this is my facsimile replica ysl so i guess fake ysl facel <laughs> wallet it's like on the thicker side 
side. It's the medium sized one. It's not the long one. It's the short of the long. The main reason why the camera was driving me absolutely insane is because like it's as thick as the bag. Nothing else fit. Once I put my wallet in, like that's it. GG. Uh, with this, I'm able to carry a lot more. So this is my tissue bag. I just have tissues in there. Tissues, one I want to blow my nose. My wallet. I'm obviously not going to put all of this inside. Just like YSL lipstick. Makeup bag. It's actually the dust bag for the wallet but I just use it for carrying makeup. My coach wristlet. So I think I'll be probably putting these two together. And I just have like more makeup. This is actually really embarrassing how much stuff I have in here. It was never meant to be like this. Can I really call myself a minimalist? This is getting rather embarrassing. Point first. Oh yeah, I went to my mom's. I went to pick this thing up because I want to have chiseled cheek and Nars Laguna. Okay, so it's empty. All right, so let's put some stuff inside. Oh my gosh, it's like brand new. I don't want to like fill it up with too much junk. So I just want to make sure that like my wallet fits. So let's put my wallet in there. A YSL. I'm literally just putting in my YSL stuff in here. <laughs> but the wallet actually fits really well. Sunglasses. Okay, now I'm getting a little worried. This is not gonna fit. Actually, she's still going good. Let me open this second strap up. Uh, I don't feel like putting in all this stuff. Okay, my keys. I don't like maxing out my bag, so this is like part of it in the back. It's kind of more or less it. Coins. Beige mask. Okay, and there we go. Ta da! So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, a like, and a subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!